welcome back to Blue Harvest Toys and on this video I'm going to be talking about one of the greatest cars in cinema history that doesn't get talked about enough and that car is the love bug himself Herbie. The love bug was first released as a Disney comedy way back in 1968. It starred Dean Jones and David Tomlinson who also starred in Mary Poppins and Ben Norman Broomsticks. It was one of those special films made by Disney using little or no animation, but experimenting with groundbreaking special effects for the time. The basic storyline involved Jim Douglas, Dean Jones, as a racing driver who buys a unique Volkswagen Beetle from an unscrupulous car dealer called Thorndike, David Tomlinson. The car had a mind of its own and could do tricks, like open and close its doors, flick its headlights, honk its horn, pop wheelies, drive himself and even split in two when necessary. Thorndike later realises the potential of the car and wants it back. The story is a mixture of wacky races and the cannibal run. Incredibly, the film was one of the highest grossing films of 1969, beating such classics as Easy Rider, Paint Your Wagon, Midnight Cowboy and Hello Dolly. There were several cars used in the making of the film, since special effects at that time was more sleight of hand than computerised effects. The basic car was a typical 1960s Volkswagen Beetle model, which was produced virtually unchanged between 1957 and 1973. The car was sprayed white, with white wheels, normal tyres, a canvas sunroof and had racing stripes painted up at the middle of the bonnet and the boot, with the number 53 on the doors. Possibly it's one of the easiest film related cars to reproduce. Herbie was such a success in his first film outing that Disney went into production of four sequels Herbie Rides Again in 1974, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo in 1977, Herbie Goes Bananas in 1980 and Herbie Fully Loaded in 2005. There was also a five episode TV series of Herbie the Matchmaker in 1982 and a remake of The Love Bug in 1997. Herbie is also a huge attraction in the Disney theme parks, particularly in Disneyland California. To coincide with the 2005 release of Herbie Fully Loaded, the Disney VW was driven to 60 cities across 19 states and had up to 10,000 VW lovers joining the tour. In terms of collectibles, there tends to be a strong similarity between the models as they were all VW Beetles and usually in the traditional cream colour with the racing stripes and a number 53. However, there are some unusual ones out there for the determined collector. License items include scale models in kit form, die cast and plastic. There was a very nice model kit made by Revel, as well as die cast from Polystyl, Polytoys and Techno. More recently, Herbies have been made by Vitesse, Solido, Scudo and Viking, along with releases by Play Mantis and Johnny Lightning. In terms of models available, Johnny Lightning has been the biggest producer of Herbie diecasts. They have produced a nice range of cars including a single models, carded dioramas with gift sets. They range from about £25 and are generally easily available. The models are well produced and nicely packaged and are available in small scales 164 and large scales 143 approximately. They produce versions from the Love Bug, Herbie Goes Bananas and Herbie Fully Loaded. Hallmark keepsakes brought out a very good little replica of the Disney model which is hard to find and usually comes from the USA. It costs around $20 but is a nicely boxed model. Skewdo, like Johnny Lighton, has produced Herbie models in normal scale and small scale. It's a bit confusing as both models are sold under the Skewdo Junior line. They also produced a model from the film Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo. Polystyl also produced a nice little gift set from the same film which includes Scorpion as well as Herbie. Definitely one to look out for as it can sell for around £40. Slot car fans are not left out as the model of Herbie was produced for the racetrack by Bauer, though the model is missing its racing stripes. There is also a nice radio controlled model of Herbie produced at the time of Herbie fully loaded movie. And there are a few nice larger scales models of Herbie produced by Play Mantis and Barago. The Barago example can command a price of around £45 in mint and boxed condition. Possibly some of the most collectible models are from the early days of the Love Bug. There was an unofficial model kit produced by Tomica, which was clearly meant to be Herbie, but it had the number 5 on the door instead of number 53. The official plastic kit was released by Revel Models and can sell for around about £30. The favourite Herbie collectible is a tin plate model released around 1968. It is a bump and go model 
of the car and despite not having the sunroof it clearly meant to be the love bug. Again it was not officially licensed but it's still a very desirable toy. I have not seen one for sale for some time but I expect it to be sold around £60 in mint and boxed condition. If you know any better please leave it in the comments below. Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo is my favourite film and it's got a big place in my heart simply because I remember getting the book from the book club at school and I remember seeing the two pack of the Herbie and Scorpion in the toy shop and I always wanted it and I knew it was quite expensive and I never got it and that is one of my biggest toy regrets of my life. Obviously I was still young to buy it myself but I recognised that it was too expensive. Who knows one day I might go back to Epworth and go to that toy store and it may still be in the window. Thank you for watching and may the toys be with you. Êtes-vous coucou